podcast. I think it's... Yeah, let's try to get closer. It's a bit yeah. Get in there. There we go. Well, this is very impromptu, but I'm with, I would call him my mentor. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to ask him a couple questions. So his name is Ryan Blair, and he's been an entrepreneur. He won the, this is what I know about you, okay? He won the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year in 20... Uh, 2015, maybe? I don't know. Two. Something like that. Okay. Would you say that's a a, a good... A good little badge of honor. Badge yeah, of honor. Um, you know, it, it meant a lot to me to win the Entrepreneur of the Year, uh, particularly with Ernst and Young, because you know they're a, a renowned accounting firm and they do this evaluation and they look at your numbers. Yeah, they go through your finances and you know they make the decision based on the facts and it's not, you know, it's it's based on you know the merit of the success that I had achieved. So it was great. I you know I don't. I uh, introduced myself as the 2015 Entrepreneur of the Year because well, I want to be Entrepreneur of the Year every year. And I didn't know <laughs> that about you until after uh, I kind of did some research on you. Yeah. So I'm a part of Ryan's group uh, called Alter Call, and it has benefited me immensely. And um, going through some, some hard family times here, I had to come to California, and Ryan was kind enough to invite me to his home. And... He's also been through uh, some of the struggles uh, that I've been through um, and has offered me some wonderful advice. But I just wanted to uh, bring attention to his organization that he started. He didn't have to start this. I think you could have just went and played golf or... I don't play golf, unfortunately. Or, yeah. Or yeah, whatever yeah. you do, go sailing or I don't know. Yeah. But you started this group to help... Um, and I, I don't want to. I'm going to let you say what your what Alter Call is all about. Mm -hmm. So can I ask you, uh, what sparked you to to start Alter Call? You know, I made a deal with God. I said that if you know, I, I was going through some hardship with regard to losing my mother and the custody battle and a few other very difficult things, as well as uh, self medication and uh, other items. And so I, you know, I, I needed a change in my life. And the best way I could describe it is. I was in so much pain and agony that all of a sudden, you know, I, I bursted wide open and I had a breakthrough and I realized that, you know, I, I was going to be called to serve and to heal myself. And the more that I healed myself, the more that I could help others heal. And that healing was the foundation for growth. And the more that you grow, the more that you need to heal. And, and if you think about it, you know, we're human beings are very, you know, um, uh, we're, we're, we're programmed to grow, but if we don't have the right conditions, the right environment, we don't grow. And so I wanted to grow out of the situation that I was in and I wanted, and I knew that healing was, um, you know, the, the solution to that. And you, you took massive. You, you, I took more action than, you know, any other human being probably in the history of the world uh, to solve the problem. <laughs> I mean, I would read about in the Bible about people going into caves for years. Like King David was in a cave for three years. I went into a cave, you know, for two years. Which was, was, here, was that here? Yeah, I was here right. at the house. Uh, you know, I, I isolated myself from all of my surroundings. And I went into learning uh, deeply meditation and breath work and various healing modalities, philosophies, and uh, teachings. And I dedicated my life um, 18 hours a day to healing. And so you, you obviously, it worked for you. And you obviously wanted to share that with people. I, a lot of people that come to Alter Call, not all of them, but a lot of them are entrepreneurs themselves. Yeah, pretty much everyone is an entrepreneur or aspiring entrepreneur for that matter. You know, my, my first 25 years of experience as an entrepreneur allowed me to deeply identify with the unique conditions of the entrepreneurial environment and the unique problems that entrepreneurs face. And so. And people, so it's not all, uh, cherries and roses for entrepreneurs. No, no. It, it, entrepreneurship is, um, it's a very spiritual, you know, profession. You actually get rejected more as an entrepreneur than any other profession out there. <laughs> you get humbled more than any other profession out there. And in fact, the, the business person is the most humble person generally in the room because they're the ones that have to, you know, figure out how to survive and to live and to feed their teams and their families. And, you know, and, and they get rejected every single day, every step of the way someone tells them no. 
where another person that has a you know traditional career lives a very safe environment in comparison to the entrepreneur. Exactly, and I I'm experiencing that now. Yeah, which is why I I so appreciate uh, Alter Call because it's like a recharge, and also that dealing with rejection that's hard. And how do we spiritually, uh, how do we feel okay with ourselves? I've had a lot of entrepreneurs go through that because there's a lot of recruiting and things that mm-hmm. goes on. And I think your your former co- uh, company had recruiting. Yeah. And so that's why you're, is that what you're talking about with the nose? Um, you know, in a, in a direct selling environment, you learn a lot about rejection. It is, you know, you, you have to, and, but that's the same of, of any entrepreneurial environment. You, you, you're going to have a lot of clients say yes to you and leave. A lot of clients say no to you. And so you have to, you know, to become a great entrepreneur, you have to get a lot of at bats, so to speak. So you got to show up and you got to take a lot of swings and eventually you'll learn how to hit the ball. And the same is true for direct selling and recruiting as it is for recruiting people for a movement like Alter Call or recruiting people for a consumer product or recruiting people to come to your restaurant. You know, you're going to have a lot of people say, I didn't like the cuisine. And then that feedback is going to teach you how to create a better atmosphere, a better experience and a better, uh, you know, better menu uh, so that you can have a better restaurant. And people also can read. They can read us where the people are not stupid. So whenever we're trying to recruit them into something, they can see right through it. If we if we had a a ulterior motive, unless you're unless you're really. I couldn't, like I used to say, I can't sell used cars, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, so I, my, my recruiting strategy is a little different and uh, I have so much conviction in what I'm doing right. that I, it is impossible for me to not recruit you. If I owned a restaurant, I would be telling you, you have to eat at my restaurant. If you told me you had a birthday coming up, I'd say you're having the party at my restaurant. I wouldn't, you know, right. fail to mention my restaurant to you and then find out that you had a party at my competitor's restaurant and then be, you know, uh, upset that you didn't join my restaurant. I'd say if I had a restaurant, I'd want you to try to do every occasion there. I'd want you to eat there. I'd want you to celebrate every every special moment of your, your life at my restaurant. So my conviction, that's my dog, Berlin. my conviction in the product that I offer is so strong that, that, you know, that if my, and I'm very direct when I recruit, you know? So, so would you say that if somebody wanted to be like, have that type of confidence, would they learn how to do that in Alter Call? Yeah. Yeah. Conviction, conviction comes from a, a variety of things like beliefs, knowledge, skill, wisdom, it's a combination and to be successful in direct selling or to be successful as an entrepreneur as a whole, you have to have a level of conviction greater than that of your opposition. And if your opposition is the marketplace or the competition or, or even the customer's objections or your opposition, your conviction has to override their objections. That, that's awesome. I, now I was uh, thinking a lot about this. You mentioned this on one of your meetings about good stewardship. Mm-hmm. And I talk about um, the story in the Bible of the talents. Yeah, where each uh, each slave of the master was given a certain amount of money according to their abilities. Um, people have, have thought that that story is only related to spirituality. Would you say that you could separate your your business from spirituality? No. Um, we are all spiritual beings. So our business is 100% connected to our spiritual energy. You know, for example, if I'm not feeling good, my company's not feeling good. If I'm in a bad mood, my company's in a bad mood. If I'm positive, I'm filled with light, I'm optimistic, I'm, I'm grateful, uh, you know, I'm, I'm inspired and I'm ready to, you know, to, to make change in the world, then th- that attitude becomes contagious and my company has that same set of attributes going for it at that particular time. So, you know, it, it, everything is the energy that we're, the energy that we're working with is reflected first it's internally in, in us and then it's reflected externally in all that we do, whether it be the way we treat our homes, the way we clean up our houses, the way we um, treat our dogs, the way everything we do is um, uh, is a product of our internal energy, and our internal energy is derived from our spirituality. So good stewardship and, and increasing the master's belongings. Oh, sorry. Brilliant. Okay. So that would include the way we handle business and become spiritual entrepreneurs. And I think from my experience with Alter Call, that's what I get out of it yeah. personally. 
And, um, and that's why I, I want to recommend it. I want to make this video. Thank you. For anybody that um, is seeking to do, to be good stewards and increase the master's belongings and, and in turn enrich themselves spiritually, um, Ryan has put together the tools and uh, has it's been wonderful help for me. And I want to thank him for personally inviting. He didn't know I wanted to do this. And I didn't know if he was going to let me. And I really want to appreciate this my and, and say thank you to, to, to my new new best friend. <laughs> <Ryan>. <laughs> thank you very much, Thanks. Alex. I appreciate you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.